Hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here with the quick contest entry. This is going over for Steve at All the Worlds of Stage doing a quick contest. Uh, what he hit for 800 subscribers, and so he's uh, doing a giveaway, doing a contest, mainly uh, prompted by Chris Profu. So there's not as many uh, contests going on these days. But anyway, uh, simple one. He wants to see albums, bands, titles that have acronyms in them. So he went to see three. I've got a little more than three because, you know, this is an interesting topic. I find it's an interesting topic. And so since there are a couple of different ways, and, and I've, I've seen examples of all of them, there are a couple of different ways you could look at it. Uh, I'm given a couple of different examples in case one of mine doesn't qualify. So an acronym is typically a series of letters that mean something. But in the music business, People use what looks like acronyms. It's more, uh, to me, it looks like it's just more of a uh, cosmetic, a uh, interest. I don't know. For instance, let's go with this. For instance, WASP. Their logo is W period, A period, S period, P period. It just means WASP. Now, there that has brought forth all kinds of people making up acronyms for the band name. But I'm pretty sure when the band came out, it was just a cool way to write Wasp. They continued on with the album by doing the same thing in song titles. They had B-A-D for bad. Now they sing the song B-A-D, so they spell it, so they put the periods in there. They have L-O-V-E, Love Machine, they put periods in there. So they were notorious, at least for the first album or so, to put periods in there. Were those real acronyms or no? It's just the way that they were chanting the songs, B-A-D. L-O-V-E. So you've got that where the words are not really acronyms. They're not the letters don't mean anything. Same thing would be for Udo. It's Udo Dirk Schneider's name. It's Udo with periods. Forcing us to therefore pronounce it U-D-O for the band name and Udo for the name. So is it really an acronym? I don't know. But I saw examples where this is kind of things that can be given, so I threw that in there. Then you got real acronyms. P.O.D. The band's name is Payable on Death. They shortened the P.O.D. And that is the name that most people know them by. But if you go back to their earlier stuff and you find them, you know, find it written out, it does mean Payable on Death. And it is a literal acronym that later was shortened to P.O.D. So you got that. Now, then you jump into the song world and it goes the same way. And I'm going, I got one artist that has three of them. Let's pull some Adam in the Ants who hasn't get doesn't get seen as much in the uh, VC as I'd like to see. And you probably can't see this because it's a dull day. We got this hurricane coming. Um, and you can't see the titles. I don't even know where the titles are on this. Oh, here they are. All right. Last song, last side. S E X. Again, it's the way it's being sung. He says S E X. And he does, it doesn't mean anything. The S and the E and the X don't mean anything. It's just he sings it. He spells it out. He puts period in the name. So does it count? I don't know. You be the judge. Now, you go to his Manners of Physique album, and he has a song on here called U-S-S-A, which you will not be able to see. It's the first song on here. That's dark print. U-S-S-A is kind of a mix on U-S-S-R and U-S-A, uh, future mixing of the two countries creating USSA. So it does mean something. So that would be a little more of an acronym. He never says what it means. I don't know if it means, you know, if it's all the letters mean what they mean or if it's something different, it, but he just sings it that way. So there's that. And then on another album, on Viva La Rock, this one actually is sort of for sure an acronym, but you know, what does it mean? Last song on the album, is P-O-E. P-O-E. Now, he never in the song ever says anything that's a P-O-E. Um, but apparently, for those on the inside, it apparently, because the song talks about uh, Mr. Khrushchev, and it's got war and bombs and dropping bombs and all this stuff, and apparently it, it, it is supposed to mean peace on earth. So it would be technically a, uh, a valid acronym. And then you got Black Sabbath, first album, the classic, last song on the first side, N-I-B. People have said it means nativity in black. 
interviews with the band say it's just a funny name that they used for uh, Mr. Ward's uh, goatee at the time, you know, so does it, does it mean something? Does it not mean something? They don't really say, I don't believe the song has anything in it like that, but so it's another one up in the air, but there it is technically an, ac an acronym. So easy peasy. I'm sure you'll be able to find it. I could have dug a little deeper. It didn't take me too long to find a handful there, but anyway, jump aboard, go check out Steve Chen. I'm sure everybody knows Steve by now, but go check him out. If you don't subscribe, do all that good stuff. Link below to his channel contest. And we will see you on the next one. Rock on and rock hard.